I mean, I was there in a weird time, right? So my last four years was COVID. So, um, you know, with that being the epicenter of the world, it was kind of a, a weird experience. It was definitely special. I'm sure, you know, the guys who played there previously didn't really experience China the way I did. My last three, pretty much my whole time there, um, I was in quarantine or we were in a bubble, I'm sorry. So, um, you know, like you land there, you get picked up at the airport by the government, they put you in quarantine in like a government facility for a month. So, you know, you don't see anybody for a month and you just gotta get through that. It's not easy. And then after that, you're in a bubble. So, you know, just being able to go to the beach, being able to walk outside to get food, get a haircut. Those weren't things I was able to do in China. It was, it, it felt like a job, you know, it was basketball and then you go back to your room and think about basketball. You know, it, it was not much to do after that. So um, that's why I say the experience was probably special just, you know, for the time being. Um, I think they're opening up more this year. So, you know, hopefully it's a better experience for those guys out there. But um, it was definitely, uh, you know, some special that I'll probably end up writing about later. When COVID happened, um, we just played uh, this team Lao Ning out there and um, they had Lance Stevenson out there. So we, Lance and I grew up together. So we played them and they were one of the better teams in the league. I think we lost them. It was a close game, but then we had Chinese New Year break. And for Chinese New Year, you get, it's like two, three weeks, like the whole country's on vacation, right? Um, so our coach gave us four or five days and they were like, you could do whatever you want. So uh, I booked a trip to Japan. You know, I was like, we're close to Japan. I've never been to like really seen Asia. So I'm like, yo, Japan sounds dope. So I went to Tokyo and before we left, <laughs> there was like a cold or a virus picking up. And our coach told us, he's like, yo, just be careful traveling. There's like a cold. And in China, they put masks on whenever they're sick. Cause it's not for like, it's for your protection. If I'm sick, I put it on out of courtesy so that like, I don't spread my germs to you. And they do it regularly. You know, like if somebody has a cold, they'll just put it on. So it's like, I don't want to spread my germs. So I get to Japan, I'm there for not even a full day. I get there at like maybe 10, 11 in the morning, spend the day there. I'm in Tokyo, amazing experience. like food, everything, the culture was really cool. And then um, that night, my agent calls me and he's like, hey man, I don't know what's going on in China, but whatever it is, it's picking up. I'm like, all right, cool, just keep me updated what's going on. So he calls me again at like four in the morning in Tokyo, and he's like, look, the league said that they might cancel for a little bit because whatever it is, it's spreading fast. They, he was like, it's nothing to worry about though, it's just like a flu but you could stay in Tokyo for like an extra week, the team said. And I told him immediately, I was like, I'm going home. I'm not staying here for another week. That's like two weeks, I'm, I'm going back home and then I'll come back whenever. So I booked a flight that day. It was the most expensive flight I ever booked in my life. It was around like $8,000 for a flight to get out of there. Damn. Yeah, because the flights were going, because once that yeah, thing started picking up in Tokyo, yeah, everybody was trying to get up. So it was like eight, $9,000, just one way to get out. So I'm like, yo, Book it. I, I would have paid my whole check. I would have gave everything. I'm like, let's go. So I got home um, and just understanding how in Asia it was picking up. When I got home, how nonchalant they were checking me at, at immigration. Like, I remember I got there and the officers at the airport at JFK were like, yo, anything to clear? I was like, just my undying love for New York. And they were like, I was like, I'm coming from China though. And they're like, all right, enjoy home. Like, all right, bro. So I got in and then still everything in New York was normal. Yeah. And I would say probably like two, three weeks later is when things started picking up. And you know, that's when the world stopped.